أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله uh, I'd like to welcome you all to the ninth hands-on colonoscopy training course. Uh, this is one of the uh, series of courses that are conducted in this unit to promote the advanced endoscopy training in the country. And these courses are conducted in collaboration with PSG, that is Pakistan Society of Gastroenterology and GI Endoscopy, with West Midlands Endoscopy Training Center and Mercy School of Endoscopy, UK. Uh, these uh, courses are very unique and unlike other courses which are conducted in Pakistan in the sense that they provide uh, an intensive one-to-one -one training not only just on mannequins but also on live patients. Uh, we are very lucky to have a renowned and uh, very uh, outstanding faculty for the course. We have uh, amongst us for the, in the international faculty uh, Dr. Wakar Ahmed. He is a consultant gastroenterologist and a physician at Gannad Hospital, UK. Uh, second, we have uh, Mr. Paul Hagen. Paul is a consultant endoscopist at King's, King's Mill Hospital, Mansfield, UK. He is also one of the national uh, endoscopy training lead in UK. Uh, both of them are excellent teachers and uh, very, very uh, great human beings as well. Uh, last but not the least in, in our national faculty, we have uh, Dr. Saad Khalid Niaz, who is a renowned gastroenterologist of our country. Uh, he is a visiting faculty and director of endoscopy at surgical unit for Civil Hospital Karachi. He's also one of the course coordinators. Now I would like to request uh, Professor Saeed Qureshi, who is a chairperson, Department of Surgery, Dow University, and in charge Professor Surgical Unit 4. He's also one of the course coordinate, uh, course uh, directors. I would like request him to please come and say a few words. Assalamu alaikum and welcome all of you. Uh, this is the ninth hands-on colonoscopy course, which we have been uh, holding with the support of uh, two faculty members from the United Kingdom, Paul Hagen and Wakar Khan. Uh, after the first force, we realized that this had a great impact on improving techniques as far as the trainees were concerned. And hence, uh, we have persevered with it and continue to uh, uh, hold this on a very regular, twice a biannual basis. I hope all of you, the five of you and the other observers will learn from this, will improve your techniques and then continue on and impart these techniques to your own trainees and own juniors. And that is the only way that we can progress with uh, improving skills and improving techniques across the country. I won't say anything more other than thanking both Vakar and Paul for again taking time out, traveling to Pakistan and being part of the instructors. Saad, I don't need to mention, he remains the backbone of the whole course. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Saeed. Uh, now I would like to request uh, Dr. Saad Khalid Niaz to please come and uh, give you a brief introduction of the course. Okay. Uh, I welcome you all. Uh, to this ninth 
can't believe it. It's like yesterday we started. And um, what we generally do is um, we want to know you, where you're from, what you've done, um, the hands-on as well as observers. Um, that kind of tells us a little bit before we actually start um, teaching. Um, <coughs> What I would like to do is, Dr. Abdus Samad, uh, just tell me where you are from. Have you done any colonoscopies? Uh, and if you are, uh, what is, how many times do you reach the cecum? And uh, any difficulties that you, you have or anything that really you feel that's something that you really want from the course. Uh, I am the clinical fellow in gastroenterology and hepatology at Patel Hospital and uh, have started my second year. Um, I have uh, been through uh, this colonoscopy, I have started uh, doing around 30-35 colonoscopies where the success of reaching cecum is not that much but uh, has been able to um, reach up to splenic fracture at times and uh, has problems uh, in um, handling with the loop and all that. So I'm just new to this. Uh, reason for me coming here is that I will be able to improve my skills and uh, inshallah be able to uh, continue with doing good colonoscopies later on. Dr. Iftikhar Ali Shah. I'm working at Ulama Manmar Medical College as a professor department of medicine. And uh, I'm also looking after the hepatology clinic there for the last six to seven years. I'm doing uh, these procedures, upper G and lower G endoscopies for the last three, four years. Uh, the success rate is uh, almost 50-50, you can say. My weaknesses are as uh, loop formations and uh, retroflexion, in, in especially in the rectum. Uh, these are my weaknesses okay. and I'm here to learn this procedure. Now we're hoping that we'll sort both these problems out at least Retroflexion though is almost done. Uh, loop, obviously, you'll keep learning, uh, but we'll give you the concepts hopefully. Mm, so you're, this Meher uh, Medical College is in Sakhar. Sakhar. Yes. Okay. So, Dr. Majid A. Sumro. Majid. Majid, sorry. Majid A. Sumro. I'm Dr. Majid Ali Sumro. I'm an assistant professor in Madison, and we have associated uh, endoscopy unit. Was, uh, since I was the uh, only one there now, none then the Riyadh joined. So we do put on a lot of burden there. So a high seeker rate intubation is high, but I feel difficulty while uh, going from Sigma to descending and into the terminal. Okay. So how many colonoscopies must you have done so far? I think more than 200. Times. More than 200. Yeah. Okay, and about you, sorry? More than 100? No, almost, almost 50, 60. 56, okay. Barun Kumar, is that how you say this? Barun Kumar Shah? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm from uh, Lahore, sir, right now. I'm doing MD gastroenterology training in Mio Hospital. And uh, I'm... Mio Hospital? Mio Hospital, sir. Since we don't have supervisor over there, so what we, we have to do is by ourselves. So in Mayo Hospital, you yeah, don't, we have don't have supervisor. Currently, supervisor over there, yes, sir. So and we don't have separate department as well. We are under like medical supervision. So, so like I recently started doing colonoscopies, and I have done around like 15 to 20. And so like I'm just You've beginner. You've done 15 to 20. Yeah? 15 to 20 around like just a beginner. And I have reached to Sikkim around four or five times uh, with my own effort and I, have, I find difficulty like uh, sometimes uh, uh, loop formation, sometimes overinflation. Yeah. Yes, you, you can't expect a lot if you've only done 15 to 20, so obviously we'll try and help you out there. Thank you, sir. Let's hope we can address Kiran Khatri. Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm Dr. Kiran Naz Khatri from Surgical Unit 6. I'm a uh, final year resident and I've done about 15 to 20 colonoscopies under direct supervision and I've managed to re-seek them in around uh, 5 to 10 under direct supervision. 
so I'm here to learn more and uh, enhance my skills. Thank you. Surgical Unit 6 is doing colonoscopies on a regular no, basis? No, no. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. She's with Professor Sharyar here. Okay. Uh, quickly moving down to Dr. Sultan Ahmed Chandio. I'm working in the Janka Medical College, Larkana, as a senior registrar for the last three years. And uh, I am uh, doing a lot of upper GI endoscopies there. So first we have started upper GI endoscopy center there, doing bend, bend ligation and other procedures, but I am none in colonoscopy. So I got the opportunity to learn here. So you haven't started colonoscopy no, yet. I okay, so that's why you're observer. Okay, Dr. Faisal Ibrahim. I am a second year uh, general surgery resident at surgical unit 4 only. I have observed a few colonoscopies, haven't tried one okay. because I haven't been into it. You must have observed, uh, observed a, a little bit more than few, but okay, we'll accept that. Dr. Santosh Kumar. Uh, sir, I am doctor, uh, working as assistant professor in LUMS, Hyderabad. I, I am uh, FCPS in 2005 in medicine. For last five years, I'm working as an endoscopist in LUMS. Uh, so we have a setup in LUMS and surgical ward, okay. or OT10. So I perform upper GI endoscopy frequently, but in colonoscopy under observation. So okay. I have problem during loops and bend, and sometimes problem in markings in the areas. Okay. 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 Hmm. Muhammad Rizwan. Okay, the observers didn't come. Bulan Medical College. Yeah. He probably is not going to come then. Has he mentioned that he's coming or no? Yeah, okay, well, obviously we'll go ahead and start. Um, it's an interesting mix that you have. This is what we have in our courses. There are people who have done a little bit more and there are people who have done zero. And we try and cater for both. It's very difficult. Uh, that's why we don't give hands-on. Uh, we only take hands-on when you've done some, because it's very difficult to start from zero, uh, from holding the scope and then taking, although we'll cover all that, but it's difficult. And so that's why we've kind of divided. Um, the, let me make it very clear, because observers usually write towards the end of the course, we get this regularly, there should be some hands-on experience. Well, if there was hands-on experience, it wouldn't be called observer. So you're just going to be basically observing, but a lot of questions, a lot of points that you have raised will be addressed in the next three days. Loops, how are they formed, how do you reduce them, retroversion, uh, how do you know that you're in the cecum, what should be the cecal intubation rate, you know, generally speaking. So we'll cover all that during the next three days. But observers will remain observers, so hands-on nahi hota, let me make it very clear at the outset. Um, <coughs> I think what we have is a few lectures just on very basic um, things in endoscopy. Uh, we will, uh, um, followed by um, some mannequin experience, we have a very nice uh, dummy um, and that we can use while when we go on to the hands-on course, two candidates will go into the, into the live rooms and the remainder can actually see while they are being taught. At the same time, we also have the dummy or the mannequin, which some of you can use, to, you use as well while the course is going on. So these things um, run simultaneously. You will have the choice of sitting and watching or, uh, or using the, the mannequin. The mannequin use, again, is mostly focused on those who are hands-on. But once they are fed up, which is very quickly, and board, and then they want to just do on the live cases, then, then if the mannequin is available and free, we allow the observers to do that. Um, <coughs> you are very fortunate to, to have um, two very skilled uh, colonoscopists here, uh, very good teachers. Um, Vakar is, um, in some respects, more like me. He likes to do a lot of things. Whereas the gentleman sitting here, Paul, is his passion is love is um, endoscopy, but mostly mostly colonoscopy. And there are very few people that I have come across in the world 
with concepts better than this man. Yeah. I'll tell you that. So you're very, very fortunate to have him and, and his patience and his teaching skills definitely go far, far beyond my imagination. Forget about doing them. Um, and I would say almost the same, but Vakar also does, is part of our ERCP course, which we do once a year. Um, so we do other things as well, whereas Paul's focused on, on, on upper GI and, and lower GI procedures mainly. This is a basic hands-on course. We are assuming that you've come here to learn colonoscopy, okay? And so there will be things that you have been doing which are incorrect. And we would like you to change to the correct method, internationally accepted way. <clears throat> there are different ways of doing the same thing sometimes, and both are acceptable. But it's important at this stage to know what options you have. What are the ways? How does Dr. Vakar do his case and how is um, Paul doing his uh, thing? And you'll get this mix, okay? And those who will be with me, I have my own. So we all have our own little um, methods, ways. And you can pick up and, and use whichever one you are. But mostly, it's uniform. So like 98% of it, 97% if I'm correct, will be the same. But we don't want you to um, stick on to some of the wrong habits that you might have developed because some of you have learned yourself in looking at videos and whatnot. So we'll try and improve on that. So please focus on what is being told and try and adjust. Okay. And that would be the, that would be most useful for you. Because we've had this problem sometimes where people have actually been taught in what we feel is not the correct way. And when we try and change that or try and tell them to change, there is a little bit of a reluctance. And that actually doesn't help you. Um, <coughs> I think with that, um, I don't think there's anything else, Sajda, that I need to, to add. We've actually, we will have a, We'll have some announcements about dinner, course dinner tomorrow. This is a very, huh, this is a very interactive course, okay? This is not a monologue. There is no point sitting there quietly and saying, oh, you know what, if I ask this question, people will think I don't know anything, rubbish. Okay, there's so many things I learned during the course. I have learned over the last eight courses and improved myself. So there is improvement, room for improvement in all of us. And if there is no room for improvement, then you should stop doing what you're doing. Um, so please interact. Um, fortunately, none of us are professors here. There are two sitting here and one Saeed Saab. Um, they say then, you look professor, you mashallah, but myself, Paul and Vakar, we are not professors. So which makes us a little bit more easy to communicate as I see. So please interact, relax. We, there is no teacher and you know tension wala kuch nahi hona chahiye. We should we need to be totally friends, okay? And uh, all the best. Uh, we put in 100%, and we hope that that 100% is good enough for you, inshallah, over the next three days. Um, do we have a talk which is going to tell them um, about uh, sequel intubation and all initially, or do we do that during the during the course, right? I'll just tell you one thing. I mean, sequel intubation, like you said, your aim should be about, let's start with over 95%, okay? If you're good, 95, 97%, you're very good, 98, 99%. If you're superhuman, then 100%, <laughs> okay? Uh, so your aim has to be over 95%, to be fair, okay? And that's what you need to aim for. And that's not, not a big deal. That's, the, that's what it has to be. So, you know, there is no shortcut in that. But we will be touching things uh, as the course goes on. Okay? Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Saad. Now we'll formally start with a few, only few lectures that we have for today. Uh, for that, I'd like to invite Dr. Vakar. He's going to uh, talk about preparation, sedation, and consent. 
and he's going to take you through the complications and their management, complications of colonoscopy. Thank you. you got to share that. <laughs> uh, right, I'll just try to find my slides. Bear with me. Yeah, yeah. 